Hello and welcome on the Polish Foodies YouTube channel. Uh, I decided to make this short video for you because some time ago I realized that there are some Polish words that are perfectly normal for me, but for you English speakers may be funny or weird that uh, these Polish words have this meaning. So the first one is fart. <laughs> We all know what fart and farting means, but in Polish the word fart means luck or good luck. So you can say, ale masz farta, so you have a fart. That means that you are lucky. <laughs> so I think it's really funny. Um, the second word is los. Uh, los like a failure in uh, English, means um, a fate in Polish. So you have your own fate in your life. So this is the to totally dif different meaning. And you also write it uh, a bit differently because you write L-O-S and in English you write it with double S. The next word is ten. So 10 is a number in English, but 10 in Polish it means this. So you can say uh, this watch, 10 zegarek. You can say uh, this nose, 10 uh, nos. So it's completely different meaning. So 10 is um, very often used in Polish. Then you have cock. We all know what cock means, uh, but in Polish, a uh, cock is a hair bun. So you can say I have cock on my hair, on my head, and that means that you have just hair bun in here. While in English, uh, <laughs> it sounds really funny. And then we have Adidas. So Adidas is the brand of the shoes. But in Polish, we are using Adidas for any ta type of sport shoes. So even Nike is Adidas for Polish because it's just uh, shoes you use for running or training. <laughs> then you have pasta. Uh, in English, of course, it's something you eat. But in Polish, pasta means a paste. So you have like pasta do zębów, toothpaste, or pasta do butów, uh, shoe polish. Uh, so this is something, pasta is, is different. You can also have pasta to eat, but it's like the something that has smooth consistency. So for example, uh, uh, pasta jajeczna uh, is a spread you can make for bread. So this is how it is. And then you have ham. Uh, ham in Polish is an offensive word uh, and it describes somebody who is rude. So if someone is rude, you can say it ale ham, which means is you are really rude. While in English, it's just like something you eat. So <laughs> it, in Polish, it's, it's, it's completely different. And you also uh, should spell it with a C at the beginning. So it's C-H-A-M. But still, some people use the English version, so ham, H-A-M. Then you have no. So no in Polish means yes. You can confuse it with no, which is no in English. But no is something you can say, to, for example, uh, do you want to go shopping with me? No which means yes, and you also use no to emphasize or strengthen the meaning of each word. For example, um, you can say no tak, which means like double yes, or no nie, which means double no. So no is a very confusing word, I guess, uh, but um, it's, I think it's funny because you write it the same as in English, so it's N-O. When you are in Polish, you can use this. You can also practice saying no, because it's pretty different than no. It's no. Okay, so the next word is dress. 
So dress in Polish means a tracksuit uh, that you use for the training. Uh, and it's also a subculture in Poland. We even have the song about the dress only, about people who are wearing these tracksuits all day, then they don't have any job. They are just um, listening to the music and doing nothing. Uh, so uh, it also has the double meaning. And in Polish, you use only one S at the end. So it's D-R-E-S. While in English, the um, dress is with double S at the end. Uh, then you have die. Which in English means that you want someone to be dead. While in Polish, die means give me something. So if you hear the mother on the playground saying something, die to his her child, like die me buzi, give me a kiss. It doesn't mean die that she wants her child to be dead. So it's pretty, it's very pretty funny, but also um, you hear it the same as in English, die, but the spelling is completely different. It D I J. This is how you say it. Then you have impresa. You have the car impresa, uh, famous all over the world. I think it's Subaru impresa. But impresa in Polish means the party. And the final word is tip. So tip, uh, it's like a type uh, in English. Uh, but tip is, you can also say about a guy that this tip is walking down the street. So this, this, this guy is walking down the street. So tip and type, I think it's also uh, a bit funny. So I'm pretty sure there are many words like that similar uh, in English that are funny in um, for you, but for us they are just normal. If you don't uh, speak Polish and English, you can share more words like that in the description, in the comments of this video, because I'm really interested and I had so much fun gathering all these words. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye!